An inactive government facility in Nevada is being systematically trashed and looted by vandals. It's located in the heart of the desert, an installation that was run, ironically, by the United States Coast Guard. The I-team's Glenn Meek has been looking into this rampant theft, the vandalism at this former navigation station. And as taxpayers, we all helped fund this sure. station. Now it is shuttered, and the looting that's going on is not only sad, it raises questions about why valuable government property wasn't salvaged before scavengers got to it. At the end of this obscure desert road near the landlocked town of Searchlight lies an abandoned government installation. Today, it's little more than a high-tech haunted house. But at one time, it was part of a Coast Guard navigation network called Loran. This film will show you some of the techniques used in Loran. Loran, for long-range navigation, was a system of 24 radio transmitters positioned strategically around the United States. By comparing the time difference between pulses from different stations, navigators could get a fix on their locations. Loran Station Searchlight was commissioned in 1976 and has a permanent crew of five that maintain not only the sophisticated equipment necessary to transmit the Loran signal, but also the station's buildings, grounds, and access roads. Today, that access road is in serious disrepair and the buildings have been trashed. Equipment's been destroyed, thousands of pounds of copper, cop aluminum have been taken. Richard Ashley is a commercial pilot and ham radio operator. And as you can see, they've taken, they've gone through here, again, taken all the copper wire, all the overhead panels. Ashley came across this facility during a bicycle trip. He's saddened by the vandalism and scavenging and shocked at how much government property was left behind when the station closed. What would one of these filters cost down at Lowe's or Home Depot? 7960, master secure. All of America's Loran stations went off the air in February of 2010. They were expensive and obsolete compared to GPS navigation. Initially, the searchlight facility was in good shape after closure, but this sign was either a bluff or is no longer accurate. All of this has been stripped. In recent months, Police scavengers have looted cabinet. the facility so of copper wire, electronics, and other government equipment. This is another equipment room of some sort. Even the awning providing shade to the parking area has been torn down for its aluminum scrap value. See, they've just totally destroyed these engines. These engines are probably $150,000 a piece. Man, that just makes me sick. And it's not just the vandalism and looting that sickens Ashley. He says he's called everyone from the FBI to the Coast Guard trying to get somebody interested in the problem, but with no results. I explained to the gentleman that, you know, there was millions of dollars worth of damage and equipment being looted and destroyed. He didn't seem to care, and I've never heard back from him. Well, like Mr. Ashley, I also called the Coast Guard. I spoke to a public affairs specialist who told me he'd look into the situation. I haven't heard back from him, and that was more than two weeks ago. I also called and emailed the office of Congressman Joe Hack, who represents the Searchlight area. I asked a congressman to watch our story tonight and try to get some answers about how this situation got to the point it did, and hopefully whether anything can be done to preserve what's left of the station, and we're just waiting for answers there as well. We hope to get some, and as soon as we do, yeah. We'll pass it along. What a loss. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, Glenn. Experts say the nation's GPS navigation system is at risk of being jammed or spoofed, and there's no backup in place. But an I-Team investigation reveals that a viable backup system operating right here in southern Nevada was killed by government bean counters. Yeah, the I-Team's Glenn Meek first told us about a radio navigation station near Searchlight, the Loran station that was shut down and later vandalized. And Glenn, the decision to close the station like others now being uh, seriously questioned. Absolutely. Our story about the vandalism at the shuttered Loran ran navigation site generated tips from ham radio operators about a bigger story. It's the story of how that searchlight Loran station was part of a radio navigation network that could have served as an important safety net should our orbiting satellite system fail. But instead, the Loran system was shut down against the advice of top scientists. All of this has been stripped. Earlier this month, we showed you how a closed Coast Guard navigation station near Searchlight had been vandalized and government property looted. 
The President of the United States and the Commandant of the Coast Guard agreed that the Loran system was no longer required for navigation as a result of technological advances in the last 20 years. The searchlight station was one of two dozen scattered around the country as part of a radio navigation system called Loran. Gulf of Alaska chain has been secured. The Loran stations were shut down in 2010. And though a Coast Guard contractor did remove valuable equipment from the searchlight station, thieves also stripped much of the machinery left behind. There was obviously a lot of valuable equipment there, and it's too bad that it uh, could not have been secured better. Dana Goward was the Coast Guard official given the duty of dismantling the Loran stations. Now he's part of a private group trying to work with the government to restore the Loran network with an enhanced version called eLoran. Eloran is considered the most efficient method of backing up the nation's GPS system, which is easy prey to jamming and spoofing. Our national dependence on GPS uh, uh, grows by the day, and uh, without an alternative, if something unfortunate were to happen to it, uh, we, would, uh, we would be in serious trouble. Serious trouble because GPS is used in much more than just navigation systems. Timing signals from the satellites are also used to regulate everything from traffic lights to power grids and cell phone towers. Iran claims it has captured one of America's most sophisticated spy planes. In a real world example, Iran claims it used GPS spoofing a few years back to trick a U.S. drone into landing intact at one of its airfields. GPS is vulnerable because it's a weak, high-frequency signal from space. But Loran is a powerful low-frequency signal based on Earth, and it's nearly impossible to jam. Thus, Loran makes an ideal complement and backup to GPS. So, if you're wondering why the government pulled the plug on Loran after spending $160 million to upgrade it, you're not alone. And I want to start really quick with the e, e Loran system. Why did they stop it? My understanding was that uh, it was a, um, a budget issue, uh, and I, I would offer it's time to reconsider that uh, decision quite seriously. Though some of the Loran infrastructure has been demolished and would have to be rebuilt, Congress enacted a law to prevent any further dismantling of the assets. They also ordered the Department of Homeland Security to study the issue. So they did a study, and now they're going to do more studies, and that's the uh, circle loop, the endless loop of stupidity that we have in Congress. Under the proposal to bring the Loran system back, the now-trashed searchlight site could gain new life as an e-Loran station, but it would be an automated station and look very different. Now, we've asked Congressman Joe Heck's office to look into what's happening with the Searchlight Loran site because it's in his district, and his office has contacted the Coast Guard and is awaiting a response. Among the issues, whether the valuable property at the site was properly salvaged before closure, what will eventually become of the site, and whether the administration's decision to shut down the Loran system was premature. But it is beginning to look like some upgraded version of this old-school technology used on its Searchlight will have to be brought back as a backup right. system to GPS. How about that? Great right. tip from yeah. those ham radio operators. <laughs> great I'm people. glad they're watching. They are yes, great they people. are. Thanks, Thank Glenn. Thank you, Glenn.